For centuries, surgery was often an agonizing experience. Through advances in medicine, anesthesiologists are able to make operations virtually pain-free. Except in emergencies, the anesthesiologist usually meets with the patient prior to the surgery. The doctor will ask about the patient's medical history. No problem with high blood pressure, diabetes and explain the type of anesthesia that will be used, as well as possible side effects. Anesthesia, by and large, is very, very safe. In rare instances, there are complications. Before the operation begins, the doctor administers the anesthesia and checks to see that it's taking effect. The anesthesiologist monitors the patient's vital signs, heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, and breathing. The amount of anesthesia may need to be continually adjusted to ensure the patient is properly sedated. It's a mentally demanding, high-pressure job. The patient's life is in this doctor's hands. Most work is in operating rooms at hospitals or surgical outpatient centers. They may also handle pain management in intensive care units and during labor and delivery. Hours can be long and irregular. Even after the surgery is completed, anesthesiologists continue to watch over patients, ensuring they come out of the anesthesia successfully. Operations finished. Everything went well. Anesthesiologists train longer than many other physicians. In addition to medical school and basic residency training, anesthesiologists need one or two additional years of residency in their specialty. Millions of operations are performed each year, Many of them just wouldn't be possible without the knowledge and expertise of anesthesiologists.